Recipe recommended. Ingredients. A few well-chosen characters, human or otherwise. A sprinkle of suspense. A dash of danger. A pinch of peculiarity. One tablespoon of terror. Blend the above with the bygone and beyond, sifting in the supernatural. Mix at the high speed of magic, then season to the taste of science fiction lovers. Now, cook over a low flame of fantasy and allow to cool. Yields an unmeasurable serving of pleasure in a cupful of space. So, let's talk about the blurring. I've reported in these videos many weird cases that have occurred here in Stone's Way since the blurring started. While some of these cases have been frightening, there has never been a clear case of harm caused by the blurring, or by anything that has come with it. People have died, but the circumstances have been such that we're not sure if, well, if they were really people in the first place. And of course, life in town has gone on almost normally. That said, scary things have happened, and some people have disappeared. I've reported twice about the rumored biological AI project started by the Blubware Corporation. I've talked about how people have claimed there is a kind of self-directed slime oozing like a giant gelatinous snail somewhere on Blackwood Hill, near the grounds of the old college where the Blubware Corp. had their labs. Now there are claims that the thing has evolved. Maybe in response to the frost and cold of early winter. Instead of a slime, people say there is a thing, a humanoid but almost translucent, made of a pink-hued gel, except for its sensory and nervous system, which is more solid. This thing is like a standing, walking slime. It has a massive head, and in this head there are eyes floating and blinking. The head throbs and dark matter swells inside the gel. There are tentacles hanging from the head, but they dangle uselessly. There are teeth, too, and a mouth. The mouth hole only makes sucking noises, but the teeth clatter as the thing practices biting down. This thing has been described in careful detail by a group of three boys who were up on Blackwood Hill, quite against their parents' wishes. They say the thing surprised them as they were searching for agates along Crooked Creek. Before they knew it, it was there, not 20 feet behind them. Luckily, though, it moved slowly. It shambled like it was unused to walking. When they realized it was there, they screamed, of course, but they didn't run immediately because their backs were to the creek. It took a moment for them to realize how slow the thing was, and so they took in all of these details. It opened and closed its mouth, and gobs of slime spattered from the hole. The eyes swirled and bobbed in the gel, blinking. Then one long arm reached out toward them and continued stretching, like something from a comic book, one of the kids said. Of course, the boys ran then. The thing just barely touched Harley, one of the kids in the group, and now he's got a purplish mark where it touched him, on his forehead. He says it feels like there are needles in his skin, like a foot that's asleep, but on his head. The mark is the only proof that the boys are telling the truth, but most people believe the story. We've all experienced strange things because of the blurring at this point. There are false rumors in circulation, sure enough, but these boys are all good kids. That, and there's what Tilly Umbertson said. She says she saw it too, but it was outside her window at night. She wasn't sure what she was seeing at first because her TV was reflected on the glass. But her cats kept meowing at something, and then she was sure she saw motion behind the glass. She saw the eyes like bobbing orbs in a fish bowl, she said, catching the light from the TV. She dove to turn on the outside light, but the thing was gone. So now we're setting up neighborhood watches, and my own shift is tonight. Wish me luck. <laughs>